We've made some pretty big fireballs on Mythbusters. I mean, we've done everything from lighting gas on fire to blowing up an entire cement truck with C4. Yeah, but I think the biggest fireball that we never expected was when we were doing the non-dairy creamer cannon. I mean, that thing literally lit up the sky. The myth is that when you combine a flammable powder like sawdust or non-dairy creamer with air and a spark or flame, you can create a massive fireball. Now, that one was uncontained, so the fireball could expand as much as it wanted to. Yeah, uh, we kind of had to make a run for it. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's a fact that throughout history, grain silos explode. When grain is moved around, the starchy dust can make it ignite inside the silo. But what makes the powerful explosion? Now, the online videos show variables of oxygen, fuel, and heat, when correctly balanced inside the contained environment, can make a high pressure dust explosion. Contained silo explosions? This sounds like something we should test. Time to apply the scientific method. Let's start by researching the myth and then replicate the results exactly as described. All right, in typical MythBuster fashion, if at first we don't get the expected results, we will adjust the experiment until we do. First, it's time to make a hypothesis. Will the myth be busted, plausible, or confirmed? Well, I mean, no matter the result, we still get to blow something up. Sounds great. Let's do it. Yeah! Then we can test that walking or running in the rain myth. Yeah. Back at the bomb range. It is nice to be back. Let's check out the silo. All right. Dude, it looks like you built a house here. What's going on? <laughs> so, you know, we want to test whether or not a contained fireball does damage to a silo. And so what I have on top of the roof there is a trap door, and inside is filled with 80 pounds of non-dairy creamer. We're going to do it one uncontained. We'll drop the non-dairy creamer onto the flares, see what happens to the silo. Then what we're going to do is put up plexiglass to actually contain the fireball and see if we can destroy our silo. And this mesh right here is brilliant. It's going to aerate all of the creamer and create that perfect air to fuel mixture. Yeah, that's the plan. All right, so what do you guys think is going to happen? Well, I'm thinking the uncontained is just going to be this big, beautiful, fiery ball. Yeah, just like the other one. <laughs> and then with the contained? I think we're going to see some kind of like expanding. Hopefully we get you know, some destruction, maybe the plexiglass breaking off. This is uh, test number one, unconfined non-dairy creamer. In three, two, one, pull! Yeah! Oh! Oh! That's a great wow. fireball. I see how it expanded and engulfed the structure. Felt like an ignition, not an explosion. Yeah. You know, it just it expanded way out. But, like that was a lot of energy. Could you imagine what's gonna happen when we contain that energy? What could possibly go wrong? Don't step on the trigger wire. All right, this is silo containment experiment. In three, two, one, go! Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> it worked! We knocked the whole wall off. We sure did. That was perfect. <laughs> like to replicate the actual results from the video. I want to see something that looks like high-powered explosives. Well, why don't we just blow it up then? Let's. With high-powered explosives? Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is replicating the results. In three, two, one, go! So 
it looks like containing the fireball actually destroyed the silo. Good. That was great. Yeah, that was great. Confirmed. Confirmed. Yep.